New functions have been added to compute stations and offsets from another geometry element. So we'll select this sidewalk here. These four item type properties have expressions in them that are calculating the respective stations or offsets. And that's calculated by passing in a reference alignment. In my case, I want to pass in alignment CR37, which is my center line here. So it's now calculating based on that. Now notice that we can control the formatting of this, so how I want my stations formatted, and other information can all be input into here. For example, I'm inputting the name of the alignment in here as well as the station. Or on the offsets, I'm computing it to be either right or left and putting those characters in. That's all defined in the formatting of the expression. So it leaves you a great deal of flexibility. These are all live updated. So if we went and did something like change the start station of our geometry, and let's change that to 100 plus a pair instead of zero, you'll see that those station and offset calculations update immediately. Let's take a look at another scenario. Zoom into a different part of the project where we've got a little bit of an intersection here. And let's take a look at this sidewalk. So I've got the same item type on here. I'm doing the computation. And in this case, I'm computing station and offsets off this main line center line. But I could change it to compute off of this side road simply by changing my reference alignment to the name of that, which is FM12. And we see that information update. But what if I wanted both? Well, you could do that as well. So here's another item type where I'm prompting for both reference alignment names. And in my expression to compute the stations, I'm computing the station and the alignment name as well as the secondary alignment name. 